Hurricane Ida has forced many from Louisiana to evacuate their home state and ride out the storm here in East Texas. Our Alan Casper caught up with two men from Houma, Louisiana, who came to Tyler to avoid the storm, but they're now witnessing its devastation. I have some family back. They sent me pictures. It's just devastating. You wouldn't even believe it. It looked like a bomb hit. Homer, Louisiana is almost about 56 miles south of New Orleans. <laughs> we didn't expect it to be like this. We only uh, brought clothes for two or three days, our medicine, and, you know, and we was expecting to, you know, to go until the storm passed two or three days like all the rest of them, but this one was different. Oh, that roof is covered. The eye of the storm passed right over our area. Total destruction. We never ran into the weather like that. Hurricane Katrina, we just had a little wind damage and water, but it's devastating. It looked like a nuke hit our town. Churches destroyed, homes destroyed, schools completely destroyed. You know, I was very emotional because of my grandchildren. They, they couldn't get out. They, uh, you know, they didn't leave and they called and they say the windows had bust out and the roof was leaking, but they was in the bathroom huddled up and they survived. My son called me and said he talked to his children, it was okay. They don't have any electric, any water. You can't get supplies to people that need them. A lot of us don't have homes to go back to. Places that we grew up in is destroyed. We don't know what we are expecting to see when we go back home. You know, ain't nothing you could do but, you know, trust in the Lord and try to just pick yourself up, dust yourself off and try to keep on going, keep the faith. Yeah. We just keep our faith in God. We pray, we live for the day and not about tomorrow because we know he will make a way for us. The Williams don't know when they'll be able to return, but as soon as they can, they say they'll head back and begin rebuilding their lives.